So I've not seen an Airbus design like an egg before, but this egg honestly is one of the highest quality earbuds I've ever seen. So let's check it out. We're doing all right. When we are apart, we always do the same dance. Always on the fence, never making sense. I'm not gonna feel a thing tonight. I'm not gonna be the one tonight. Don't wanna hear anything that you say. Your love is a game that I don't wanna play. So don't say you need me when I walk away. So these earbuds were sent over to me by VT for review and although these were sent over to me, this is not a sponsored post and I'll be sharing with you my honest and unbiased opinion about these earbuds. So these earbuds is extremely premium and has the price tag to back it up as well and this comes in at 200 US dollar which is well over 916 Malaysia Ringgit. Very premium price tag for an earbuds by today's standard even. So let's see what is there for it to offer and if you're interested in buying these earbuds, definitely get them from the links below. So let's talk about the most obvious thing about these earbuds and that is the design. It's designed like an egg shape and it's uncommon to see such a unique design in an earbuds and it's truly quite a bold move. But this is not new from Fiti since we also have the MIFO S earbuds that we checked out previously which was also extremely well built and heavy. So the next thing that you're going to notice with these earbuds is the weight and this case is made out of solid metal and when you hold them in your hands it feels like you're holding a piece of metal. It's heavy, extremely shiny and feels super premium. From the build quality itself I think it's already worth more than 200 bucks but earbuds is just not about the build quality so let's dive deeper. So the color that I have here is the green color and I figured many will be reviewing the black model so here's the odd one uh, reviewing the green one for you to see. Uh, there is also a Hi-Fi Dots branding at the front of the lid here and the button is also laced with gold trimmings here. Uh, so it's super nice. Below that is also a Type-C charging port which is also again laced with uh, this gold finishing uh, which increased the premium factor of the case. So pressing the button here feels like you're opening an alien egg uh, and this earbuds uses the same hinge that we see with the MIFO S again. Uh, everything here is made out of metal, even the hinge inside is made out of metal. So inside the case is where you see the white plastic cradle to hold the earbuds in and the earbuds here is made mostly out of uh, a plastic rubber combo so that it is lighter when sitting in your ears. The earbud here is basic, no in-ear sensor here but at the stem here you're gonna get a nice logo and a set of lights that can be configured in the app. So battery life here is okay but not the strongest that we've seen on modern devices. With ANC off you're gonna get about 6 hours and 24 additional hours with the case and with ANC on that drops down to about four and a half hours and 18 hours with the case. This again depends on the volume that you play your music at. This earbuds also has fast charging uh, so 10 minutes of charge will give you 100 minutes of usage time without ANC which is pretty decent. Charging the earbuds is extremely fast at 45 minutes and the case takes one hour to fully charge. A comfortable listening volume for me starts at around 50%. Pretty late up the scale if you ask me but that also means you get to play these earbuds at extremely low volume. Good for white noise when you're trying to sleep. The earbud starts to get loud at about 70% and anything above that is too loud for me. And volume potential here is good, especially for those who likes their music loud. So this is a very well spec earbuds, good especially considering the price tag that these earbuds come in. You're gonna get Qualcomm Bluetooth 5.3 chipset here that supports Snapdragon sound and the Aptex lossless audio codec. But do take note that not many phones now support Snapdragon sound at the moment and you need to have a phone that runs Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and above to support this. So for me, the OnePlus 11 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 works well with this. This earbuds also comes with an extremely awesome IPX7 water resistant rating so you can essentially drop this into a pool without worrying too much about them. And this earbuds also comes with a multi-driver setup so giving you an impressive array of one dynamic driver with two balanced armature drivers to give you all the frequencies that you need. The earbuds also support seamless left and right connectivity out of the case and there is also multi-point connectivity on these earbuds. So far, these earbuds seem to have hit all the critical features to justify its price point. 
So the Hi-Fi Dots come with a mediocre ANC performance from my test and on the box it says adaptive ANC however in the app itself there is just transparency mode, mild ANC and strong ANC. There's no automatic environment noise detection to figure out the ANC level. So I tested these earbuds with the strong ANC performance which I think is the only ideal way to use any ANC earbuds and my experience with it is mostly mediocre. So the earbuds does reduce environment noise by about 50 percent in most situation but it doesn't have the feeling of it cutting off specific frequencies for example in low humming noises like airplane cabin noises or road noise it basically just reduced the overall volume and doesn't seem to have any special capabilities to reduce airplane engine frequencies or road noise frequency. So with music playing at a certain level, it does drown out those low humming noises, which is good. The cafe noise test here is also okay, but it is not the strongest and it reduces noise environment to about 50% as well. But there is a specific chatty frequencies that need special algorithms to remove, which is not found in this earbud. So you can still get that audible noise through when you're using it in a noisy cafe. You do get a little bit of wind buffering when using it in high wind situations but the good news here is that transparency mode sounds pretty good and gives you quite a good amount of noise through for announcements. So overall I rate the Hi-Fi Dots to have an ANC score of 6.6 .6 out of 10. So a nice touch with these earbuds is that VT also throws in app support for these earbuds. At the home page here, this is where you're going to see the battery percentage of the left and right earbuds, but not the case. At the bottom, you're going to get to adjust the ANC control to transparency, mild ANC or strong ANC. And below that is an earplug test to let you know if you have a good seal on these earbuds. But under the equalizer, there is no presets here. So you're left with just a 10 band EQ to play around with. So you gotta you know mess around with it. VT also lets you remap the controls of your earbuds, but to be honest, the original setting is already quite good and lets you control everything including volume controls. Finally, there is also the lighting effects on the earbud stem. Here you can set it to either brief, flash or slow or turn them off altogether. So you can also update your firmware over the air if there is one in the future. So sound quality here is really very impressive and I am happy to report that this earbuds also performs in this department. So what you're gonna get here is a very full sounding earbuds that excels in all aspects of the frequencies. Starting with the bass performance, the sub bass rumbles here is extremely low and precise. Meaning songs like Daft Punk's Doing It Right will sound extremely satisfying, but this earbuds doesn't disappoint as well in the mid-bass department because it thumps equally hard there. Vocals are forward and clear with no hint of them being recessed and even with complex songs, it doesn't get drowned out which is also great. Highs is also fantastically reproduced and they sound wide and clear overall with a very satisfying clarity to it. So I've also tested this with Snapdragon Sound and also tested it with AAC on iPhone and they both perform admirably well, so really good job for the tuning here. So this is a test to see if the VT Hi-Fi Dots is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So low latency mode on these earbuds is also really good with minimal latency when playing games like PUBG. I would prefer to announce that I am in low latency mode rather than just a chime because you need to tap 5 times on the earbuds to enable it. So watching videos and movies on it is really good with no latency problems. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. I gotta be honest here, when you test something that is $200 price point, something in me just 
trying to find a reason that it should not be priced at that price point because you are paying top dollar for these earbuds and i want all of you guys to pay what your money is worth but honestly i think the hi-fi dots did it it does every aspect of the earbuds well and if 200 dollars is something you have lying around and want to give them a try i say go for it so that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.